Good morning, children. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So I just got done watching the Polar Express movie, so I am in the holiday spirit. I hope that you are too. Uh, this Sunday service is going to be what's called our Covenant Renewal Service. Covenant Renewal, that's kind of two really pretty long words. I'm going to try and see if I can help you understand them and understand what your part in it should be. So a covenant, that first word, is a promise. And it's a promise that's normally made between two people or two parties. So let me give you a couple examples of a promise. You probably know what that is, right? You've promised things before. But one that's really important that you probably see is symbolized by a ring. Maybe your mom or your dad or someone older that you know wears a ring on their left hand, normally, on their fourth finger, normally, as a symbol of their promise or their covenant with their other to love and honor each other for their whole life. It's a covenant or a promise that they make to each other to spend the rest of their lives together. Another example of a covenant would be this. Look what these are. You probably got a lot of Christmas or holiday cards over the last couple of weeks. And on it is an address where I, if I want to send a card to someone, I say where it wants to go, and I make a covenant or an agreement with the post office. I use the stamp, and the stamp symbolizes our agreement, and the post office makes a covenant with me that they're going to deliver this to this address. So that brings us to the second part of the word, the renewal part. Renew means to make something new again. So I don't get to use the same stamp every time to send all my Christmas card letters. I need to get a new stamp each time to renew the promise, to renew that covenant. Maybe another example that you have, I bet some of you have one of these. Do some of you have a library card? Yeah? So with your library card, the library promises that they will let you take books. You promise back that you're going to return them. I think a lot of libraries, it's maybe 30 days or two weeks, but you promise to treat the book well, not tear it up or damage it, and you promise to bring it back. The renewal part you have to do with the library card too, usually, so you don't get to have books for the rest of your life a lot of times. Maybe every few years or every so often, you need to go get a new library card to renew or to make the promise new again that you and the library are making each other. Get it? I think you probably do. So this week in church, what we do is we talk and we remember probably the largest promise ever made, and that's God's covenant or God's promise with us. God sent his only son, Jesus, to us. And in return, we as Christians promise to listen to him and learn from him and live by his teachings. And so during this covenant renewal service, you probably are familiar with communion, where we take the bread and we take the cup and we commune with God and recommit ourselves to Jesus and his teachings. And usually once a year or so, we renew this covenant we have with God. God made a promise and he kept it. He sent Jesus to teach us and forgive us of our sins and to teach us how to live. And we all made a promise back as Christians to live by those teachings. So now it comes to your part, right? So as young Christians, what's your part of this covenant? Well, I would like to think about it like the movie I just told you about, right? In the Polar Express. God, last week, we celebrated at Christmas, sent the baby Jesus to us. And what our part is, we need to promise to learn everything that we can about Jesus and about what he taught to be Christians. So this means your part of this service this week, the covenant, is to recommit and say, I'm gonna make new again, to renew your promise that I'm gonna learn more about Jesus. I'm gonna to listen to my Sunday school teachers, my parents, my pastors, and I'm gonna learn as much as I can about the Savior so that I can live according to his teachings and keep my part of the covenant, renew the covenant, make my promise new again. I hope you can do that this year. And I hope I helped you learn a little bit about what this Sunday's Covenant Renewal Service is all about. Will you pray with me? Lord Jesus, thank you for your promise to send Jesus, which you kept, to make things new again. Amen. 
Have a great week. I love you.